Okay, this is about the scariest thing I've ever seen on the internet. Um, there was a nuclear weapon exploded underground about a hundred miles south of the Yellowstone caldera uh, just about exactly two hours after I released my YouTube video uh, Yellowstone Secret Eruption Program. Um, my, my video was released at uh, 0 Zulu 36 minutes, so right about here. And then two hours later they set off this nuclear weapon here. This is a nuke because there's no foreshocks, you have a huge vertical impulse, and then there's no aftershocks. So that's how a nuclear weapon looks. And this is also picked up all over the place. And this seismometer is at uh, Snow King Mountain, Wyoming. Let me show you where that is in relation to Yellowstone. It is here, here's Snow King Mountain, and uh, here's Yellow, Lake Yellowstone, and here's the uh, national, uh, here's the entire caldera here. So this is only about 90 miles, well, 90 miles, 80 miles south of the caldera, where they exploded a nuclear weapon two hours after I uploaded my video. So uh, let's search the USGS and I'll show you uh, how how to find this earthquake. Okay, so we know the time and this I couldn't find this earthquake listed in the normal uh, list, but if you search based on the time then it does come up. So I put in October 1st 2 a.m. UTC to end time October 1st 3 a.m. UTC and then the, the magnitude, I just put in a zero for a minimum, and nine for maximum, and you click search, and you get this nice little list here, <clears throat> which absolutely gives you the right one right off the bat. Here it is, 3.5 magnitude, 20 kilometers south-southeast of Hoback, Wyoming, depth of five kilometers, and then here's the time, 21, 34, actually 35, uh, which means it's 2100 is 9 p.m. and then UTC you've got to add it says UTC minus 5 that means you add 5 back to get to UTC so that's 9 p.m. 34 minutes call it actually 35 minutes so 9 p.m. adding 5 hours is going to be 2 235 a.m. exactly 235 a.m. is when this happened so Here's the location from USGS. Um, and again, we have the exact same time. To, um, system time. 930, 2135 is the local. Uh, nearby cities. It's 12 miles south-southeast of Hoback, Wyoming. So let's look, at, look it up a little bit uh, more detail. This again is from USGS. And... I guess we got Jackson, Wyoming, Hoback, and then the big the big city is Idaho Falls right here. So anybody should have felt this uh, September 30th, 936, 935 p.m., which was a Tuesday night. So if anybody felt this, please leave a note because it's not a regular earthquake. It was just a jolt. Okay, so now uh, let me show you where it is on Google Maps. Here's the um, look. Now this is the actual location. Well, here here's Hoback, uh, Wyoming. So the the uh, nuclear weapon was detonated 12 miles to the southeast. So it'd be right in these mountains here. And you can see, look how close Yellowstone is here. Here's the nuke going off, and this is Yellowstone, the caldera. This up here. So uh, it's about looks like about 90 miles, 90 miles to the south, this nuclear weapon was detonated. Now if we go to Yellowstone and actually look on this date, which was September 30th, remember we're working with local time here, so it was uh, past midnight October 1st for Greenwich Mean Time, but it's September 30th local, and it doesn't show up on the northern side because uh, apparently Yellowstone is just a big bowl of jello and the, but 
on the south side it shows up. And down here on Moose Creek is the best one. So let's look at this one. And again, September 30th, Moose, Moose Creek. And this is Greenwich Mean Time here. So we just scroll through. Now here is, there's midnight here. It goes from 23 to 0. So there's midnight. Now we want to find 235. Here's 215. Here's 230. So if we go, the red line is 30. So this is, this is 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right there is when this detonation happened. And then it looks like it took about 20 seconds for it to come up here to, to Moose Creek at Yellowstone. And again, notice there's no foreshocks, no warning at all, and no aftershocks, really. But look at this big impulse, and you know it went, it was chopped off here at this line. So that's a nuclear weapon. This was blown up uh, 90 miles south of the Yellowstone Caldera. And uh, I can also see it on these other. Um, these other ones here. We'll go to Madison River. Show you what a. This is what a normal earthquake looks like. Some vibration. It builds up, builds up some more, and then there's something shakes loose. Bunch of vibration. Then there's some aftershocks. Calms down. That's a normal earthquake, or magma movement, or whatever. And now here is this uh, guy here. The impulse. Nothing's happening up front. Then you got an impulse. And then it dies away quick. And evidently there was some, you know, echoing reverberation or whatever going on. But the time matches, the shape matches, and uh, that's uh, Flag Ranch. We can also look at this one. Now this one is the closest one to the explosion, so there's actually less time delay. Okay, so the... Uh, the red is uh, 2.30, so we go over here, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35, and about, I don't know, 15 seconds, really. So it's closer, and this delay is shorter, because remember, it, it actually popped at 34.58, so I'm just calling it 35. So here's 20 seconds delay, and again, no foreshock, boom, uh, there is some ringing but no aftershocks. Okay, so Yellowstone, two hours after my video was uploaded, they set off a nuclear weapon. Uh, who's they? I don't know, but if, if we look at the Google map, we can get some idea that that hopefully uh, Yellowstone has a security perimeter around it. Maybe that's why they had to go clear down here to uh, Hoback and it's actually down here in these mountains south of it. So if we look at this and zoom in just a little bit, you can see that uh, there's absolutely nothing out there. It's all mountain range. So uh, five inches is about one inch. So uh, here's Hoback. So it's right about here. It's right about here. So it's, it's in this, this ridge right here. And anybody that wants to go look in this area. Here's the coordinates. Please go look and see what you find. You're probably going to see some big truck tracks or God forbid maybe some weird soldiers or something. But uh, here's the location. Location 43.099 north and 110.720 west. The depth was five, 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles. And 3.1 miles can be drilled by these uh, big fracking rigs. So somebody's acting like they're fracking and then they're dropping a nuclear weapon down the borehole. So this is a incredible threat to all human beings on Earth. And uh, frankly I'm very frightened to, to put this video up. But... Uh, I guess the only thing that's more frightening is to not put the video up. So, you know, there's a covert war going on, and one side wants to exterminate mankind, and we need to all decide what, what side we're on and 
what we're going to do about this. But uh, we, we really need to hope that our U.S. military will stop this kind of thing from going on. Because this is the greatest threat. All these other threats are imaginary. Here's a real threat. You guys in the U.S. military, please do what you can to stop this. I, I have had a, just a tremendous bout of fear, but uh, and I'm under a lot of surveillance now, but uh, I have an obligation, and here, here it is. It's public, public information now. Uh, one more thing, you know, one week later, here, this is October 1st, one week later, they did it again, smaller, initial impulse, same time of day, which um, is, is the sun setting and the full moon was rising right here, and then the very next day they did it again, same time of day, same impulse, so they tried three times to send a good enough jolt to Yellowstone to, to shake something loose. So, in my mind, this is confirmation of the first video that there is an active covert program trying to get the Yellowstone supervolcano to erupt. I mean, for God's sakes, that's a nuke. Or maybe it's, you know, several tons of high explosive, but um, that's not for me to say. I, I don't know if you can get that amount of explosive down a borehole that's probably only maybe 8 inches, I don't know. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Please forward this, and let's pray that this can be stopped. Thanks.